Hello. In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving an Absolute Value Inequality Problem Type 4. We're asked to graph the solution to the inequality on the number line. And since we're asked to graph it, it's probably safe to assume that we won't have either of the two special situations. The first being where we would have an absolute value less than a negative number. This would be no solution because the absolute value is always positive therefore it can't be less than a negative. The other sort of special situation is the absolute value could be greater than a negative and in this case everything works because an absolute value is always positive it's always going to be greater than a negative number. Other than those two special situations we could also have the absolute value less than a positive number. This would be an AND situation meaning that we would need both of our solutions to overlap. The other possibility could be that an absolute value is greater than a positive. This would be an OR situation, meaning we could have either of the two solutions that would work. Looking at this example, we have an absolute value less than a positive. So that's going to be this, where we're going to need our two solutions to overlap. We're going to need both to be true in order to satisfy the inequality. So to start solving, I'm first just going to drop the absolute values and have our 3y plus 3 is less than 6. But before I start solving, I'm going to list the other possibility. This is our AND. For the second solution, I would also drop the absolute value to have 3y plus 3. But this time I'm going to change the direction of the inequality and change the sign on the other side. And from here we can start solving each one of these. On the left, subtracting the 3 gives us 3y is less than 3. And dividing on both sides has the y by itself less than 1. So graphing that we would have everything to the left of 1. But then for the equation on the right hand side, I would subtract the 3 over to have 3y is greater than negative 9 and then dividing by 3 we have y is greater than negative 3. So here that would be everything to the right of negative 3 and we said that we're going to need both of these to be true. So that means we're looking for where these two lines overlap and they overlap between negative 3 and 1 not including those endpoints. So the solution that we would be graphing would be just that between negative 3 and 1. 